What is new in Monolix 2023? This version includes both big and small new features to make your workflow more efficient. The biggest new feature is a brand new reporting module to automatically generate reports as Word documents with all your analysis results. With the default option, you can generate in just one click a default report containing the table of population estimates, the table of objective function values, and the plots generated and customized in the interface. For example, in this project, I have generated plots for observed data with mean curves for different dose groups, covariate viewer, individual fits colored by dose group, observations versus predictions, and VPC in log scale. To generate the tables and plots in this report, I took advantage of the new capabilities of Monolix 2023. In the table of population parameters, coefficients of variation are now reported automatically in addition to standard deviation of random effects. In the observed data, I can now overlay statistics for different groups on the same plot thanks to the merge button. And for observed data and VPC, I can now select custom axis limits. For example, here I set a lower limit of 0.001 on the Y axis for the VPC. You may have noticed that in the report, plots are zoomed in compared to how they look in the interface. Font size and margins in plots were automatically increased during the default report generation to make plots ready for publication. To generate a custom report, you need to load a custom report template here. The template is a Word document that contains any text you want, as well as descriptions of tables and plots. We call these descriptions placeholders because Monolith can automatically replace them by the corresponding tables or figures to produce your final report. For each table and plot, you can see the placeholder directly in the interface with this button. In the window that opens, you can easily edit the placeholder settings, for example, to increase the size of all elements with the zoom value here on line 4 and see the result right away with the preview button. Or you can copy the placeholder to paste it in your report template with this button. Your template can even include customized table styles or several versions of the same plot with different settings. The second major improvement is a data formatting module in the interface to make the input format more flexible. In this module, you can load an input data set not yet in a standard monolith suite format and adapt its format. For this, you can specify several header lines or exclude lines, merge several observation types into a single column with different options, add censoring information based on BLQ tags, add treatment information from an external file or specifying it manually with a myriad of possibilities such as multiple doses, repeat cycles, amount read from a data column or given manually, infusions, combined therapies, or those intervals handled as occasions, and finally add covariate and regressor columns from another file, for example to easily include PK parameters estimated in a previous analysis as new regressor columns to estimate PD parameters sequentially. You can see the formatted data set in the interface or export it as a new file. Furthermore, the latest version of Monolix is even more connected than before with other applications of the Monolix suite. In particular, you can now export your Monolix individual fits or VPC simulations to PK Analytics to run non-compartmental analysis on simulated data. Or you can also export this simulated data to Simulix. To summarize, with the addition of data formatting and reporting of the results, as well as more connections between applications to combine analysis as needed, you can perform your entire analysis workflow in the Monolith Suite interface. Smaller new features include the coefficient of variations in the table of population estimates, mean curves for different groups overlaid on the same plot, and in case of time-to-event data, if you split the time-to-event VPC for different groups, you can also merge them to easily compare the different survival curves and prediction intervals on the same plot. And finally, you can set custom access limits for the VPC and the plot of observed data. So what is your favorite feature? Tell us in the comments. In addition, to give us feedback and help us fine-tune the new features in the next versions, you can now use this form integrated within the interface. Enjoy the new version of Monolix, and to see the new features for all applications in more detail, watch our last webinar to see the new Monolix suite in action with a PKPD case study.